What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. Today we're going to open 16 VIPs uh, for multiple sponsors, very generous sponsors. Going to do some randomization of the slips. And let's see who... Okay, we're going to start with Sean, uh, Jason, and we're going to look for the other one. All right, and Ryan. All right, so Sean, first pack. Jason next to and Ryan of that first inner case. And uh, who's after that? We got Arturo, Dana, and Ben as our three... Uh, just a single, um, single inner case for or four VIPs. All right, so VIPs. Oh man, I'm gonna start doing sponsorings again of these. Um, I I have some. Uh, unfortunately, if you have sponsored VIPs with me before, um, the price of these has gone up just a bit. Not, not a ton, but enough that uh, I had to raise my sponsor rates as well. Just as a you know, quick FYI, uh, I think it's fair still, but I just want to let you guys know that. All right, Sean, thank you so much for sponsoring this first VIP. May it be everything that you've dreamed of and wished for. Um, yeah, let's see. All these boxes I've purchased from very, very reputable sources. So, um, but uh, regardless, I'm going to be looking for any sign really of. Um, tampering like this one is so sketchy looking like that that extra stickiness and all of these are like it's a little bit looser than i'd like but all right i mean where i got them from uh, these these came actually from rogue deck builders i'm really I, I i can't imagine any issues with these all right so yeah i don't i don't see anything i don't don't and of course we will be shipping the vips with everyone that sponsors uh, we already have some pre-cut ones to make my life easier. Um, and then we'll cut these out slowly as well. But uh, here we go. Sean, let's let's get to work. All right. And uh, also in the link of the description, I got Urza's Tower, no uh, little miscut there or misprint. In the description, I also have, um, I've been tracking prices of VIPs since last Monday, uh, which is honestly what their peak was. Uh, if you purchase VIP singles, especially the foil borderless box toppers, right at the get-go on Friday, August 7, oh man, you would have had a great deal. Uh, you know, Force of Wheels were just like 300 bucks, TCG low at the time for the foil version. Now they're like 470. All right, so we got a foil here, Graven Carnes. Followed up by a foil reshape. All right, here's our first topper. What is it? Mark Zog, a rare. Oh boy, Goblin Guide. No. All right, that's okay. We got another one. What is it? That second one? Dando Santos. All right, I think he only has mythics in this. All right, it's gonna be a sword. Which one is it? Hey, a sword of fire and ice for Sean M. Not too shabby at all. All right, all right. And of course, we have our basic lands and goodies. Drawsy spawn, soldier, copy, tuck, tuck. All right, that's a good one, guys. That is a good one. Let me go ahead, sleeve up these, uh, sleeve up these uh, box toppers, and um, and wow, that's a great start. I think the sword of fire, nice. Uh, you know, like all the other ones have have slowly dropped in price outside of force of will, of course, um, since Monday. Uh, of last week, so Monday, August 11th. Um, but the sword is still over 100, so <laughs> that was a good one. All right, Jason, the next two are for you. Let's see how we do. So yeah, I mean, despite that 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 box feeling like a little, just a little, uh, you know, like resealed potentially, um, there were no issues. No one would reseal with that type of mythic. That goblin guide, you know, obviously got me a little scared, but I don't know. The fact that we have to talk about this every single pack of VIP is a little bit annoying, but if you guys can trust me and I can trust my my trustworthy stores on this, um, I think I think we can still make this work. I think we can still make this work. All right, here we go. Jason, we got your first pack of VIP here. Um, at least for this sponsoring. Thirst for Knowledge, great card. Galvanic Blast. Oh, Naganita. Boon Reflection, all right. What is the second one? A rare by Jason. Oh man, I saw Jason Chan and I got really excited. Um, if you're not in the know, Jason Chan is the only artist that has done a borderless card. Uh, that one would be Jace, of course. Chuck Lukacs, 
All right, here's a rare 344. Yep, it is a Thoughtseize. Not bad, not bad for that rare slot. And remember, the first card always has to be rare. The best card, of course, is Exploration. Thoughtseize is, you know, I think the second one, so really pretty good hit there. What's our second one? Dando Santos again? All right, which sword did we get this time? No, he has a rare? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, I forgot. The one um, rare... Actually, no, Stoneforge Mystic is the most valuable rare. You guys are probably typing in the comments. No, Michael, you're wrong. D Dando Santos both has uh, rare box toppers and um, Exploration is not the most valuable. It's Stoneforge Mystic. I, I forget that it's only a rare. All right, Demon Squirrel Copy, Human Soldier. Okay, not bad for our first uh, VIP for Jason. So... Got Stoneforge and Thoughtseize. And the beautiful thing about these cards, they're all like legacy, vintage, like they're they're gonna they're eternally playable. And so that's that's what I think is the reason why, like, even though the VIP singles have been dropping in price, they have not been dropping in price that much. Like I would expect prices to have dropped a little bit more. Uh, and a lot of people are actually speculating that uh, these prices are are gonna go up eventually. And right now is like the lowest they'll ever go. Uh, which I actually agree with. I think that there's a lot of potential for these cards. Um, the market is really absorbing them, and the VIP product, it's, it's not like it's easy to find these anymore. I'm having a hard time. If you guys know of any sources, I can just grab like a, you know, 100 or so of these. Like, let me know. Um, but otherwise, we'll keep keep buying some as we can and sponsoring and, and doing these box openings. All right, here we go. Pack number two for Jason. What do we got here? What do we got here? Fatal push. All right. Bloodshot trainee. Ah, my favorite. Gelatinous Genesis. Imagine losing to that card. The Assembler. Woodland Champion. Path to Exile. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Meddling Mage. Glimmer Void. Council's Judgment. All right. That's not what we want to see by Jeff Simpson. All right. And what's the next one? Randy Varkas. What did Randy Varkas do? It's a mythic. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, I love this card. <laughs> Avacyn. Angel of Hope. Glorious. Nice purple foil. All right. All right. And we got, of course, our basics. Um, treasure. Golem. Human Soldier. All right. All right. Okay. So we got at least a mythic in these two packs. Avacyn, I think, is, uh, you know, one of the few... Uh, box toppers that has not gone down in price recently. It's it's uh, that Force of Will, Sword of War and Peace, I believe, are the three that have kind of held steady or have gone up. Avacyn is sitting at 95, I believe, right now. So that was a good open. Um, Jason, your four toppers, or your four, I guess they're not box toppers, they're just foil borderless cards. So there they are. Uh, there's some rares in here as well. Uh, but yeah, pretty good showing. Pretty good showing for sure. All right, here we go. On to Ryan, the last one of this pack. We've we've seen two mythics already, so potentially we can get another one. Um, or not, or not. No guarantees. Haven't seen enough patterns to be able to predict this kind of stuff. All right, here we go. Actually, recently ran into Ryan uh, just this weekend. Went over to his restaurant. He works at a restaurant in, uh, I guess, downtown Manhattan. Um, it's great. Really, really fun seeing uh, supporters of the channel, the family, Facebook group. Um, just being able to meet like that. So, that being said, hopefully we can get you something sweet, Ryan. All right, got an Oblivion Stone. Not too sweet, but what is this, Christopher? Oh, a Foil Sword of Beast and Famine. It's always amazing to get value in that slot. All right, what do we got here? Jim Pavlik, rare. A Blood Moon, all right. Sitting pretty at 26, 27. I'm not high on Blood Moon, but I think the art is gorgeous. I just think the card itself doesn't have too much space to grow. Um, there is some kind of like weird line here, and that is annoying. But uh, what, what do we got next? Scott M. Fisher, oh. Scott M. Fisher has done two cards, but I immediately saw that it is the 2-2 and not blue. And we have a Kalia of the Vast. So we did have another Mythic in this pack. All right. Still amazingly gorgeous. Just amazing. All right. So a triple, uh, triple Mythic foil extended 
borderless cards. Um, oops, those are not the tokens. I don't know why I did that. Demon Human Soldier, copy and squirrel. So Demon Squirrel. All right, let's go ahead and sleeve these foil borderless cards and the sword, and um, and keep going. That that was pretty good. I mean, like you know, you just don't get that much value in these sword uh, in that foil slot. Like usually, like everyone else in this. Uh, this inner case just got, you know, a couple of rares that were maybe worth at max a few dollars. Um, so, you know, nice to get that value, Ryan. All right. So we've gotten a sword, stone forge, Kalia. All right. Who's next again? Oh, here we go. Arturo. Um, what else have we gotten? Uh, Thoughtseize, of course. Oh, yeah. We had an Avacyn. That was a great hit, too. All right, these are upside down. Okay, sure. So in inner case, of course, is going Arturo. Yeah, let's get let's get to work. Let's get to work. All right. What do we have here? For Arturo, pack one in this inner case. All right, treasure maze, welding jar, weapons. Oh. Well, okay, got a little, a little bit of a misprint right here in weapons trainer. All right, all right. First time I've seen that. That's that's very minor, of course. I would say, but still, you know, it's always always nice. A Mazarak crawl death priest. All right, a basilisk collar. Beautiful. And a Noble Hierarch, all right. I think these are sitting at the 24, 25 range. So not bad, not bad for our first rare. Uh, and here we go. Ron Spencer with a... Oh my goodness! Arturo, pack one! <laughs> oh man, these VIP products are so good! You know, there, there's going to be Shapeshifter Treasure, Serve Elemental. There's going to be some instances where we don't make EV, but it's just like... Like, how many times have you guys seen that? Like, you know, if we buy these on a scale and we open these, like, 16 at a time, like, I just haven't... I just feel like it's always been good value. It just has... I don't know. Maybe I'm just insanely lucky. I mean, at this point, we opened 155 on video and live stream before today, all right? That's where I'm using my data from. And today we're opening 16, so by the end of this video, I've opened 181 of these. I just... I just have been really high in the product. I could think it's really good. Just think it's really, really good. So, anyways, I feel like Arturo, we already made it. We got the Mana Crypt. Right now, the Mana Crypt has been one of the cards that has drifted down in price. I think it's sitting at just above 200 CCG low right now. Uh, but still, I mean, that pays for like two packs, you know? All right, all right. Here we go. Pack number two. So this one's free, right? This is a free roll, so to speak. Um, okay. Entering the VIP casino, we have Cascade Bluffs and a Grim Lava Mancer. All right, not not awful, not awful. Here we go. Richard Kane Ferguson coming in with a Toxic Deluge, one of the more valuable foil rares i think this one's sitting at like 39 38 something like that 36 maybe and what is the next one kev walker coming in with a mythic wow and a truck <laughs> wowzers all right so that is beautiful i mean a Troxa, i think is she's sitting in 60 something like 66 maybe but uh it's gorgeous like I, i'm high on a Troxa and kalia for sure yeah you know if you want that as your commander, if you want a Trox as your commander, you want the nicest version. You're not gonna. All right, th that's kind of lame. Do you see? There's a kind of a little bend on this, uh, on this treasure token. I don't think it was for me, guys. I'm pretty sure it just kind of came that way. Where through all the transpo, got hurt like that. Just want to let you know, Arturo, your token. It's a little damaged, but uh, this this card is pristine. So, no issues on the card. The valuable cards, of course, and. Once again, straight into the sleeves. All right. So I think Atroxa and Toxic Deluge more than paid for that pack. So at this point, uh, this next pack is now a free roll, right? That, that's how that's how these VIPs work, right? 
and, and the person that gets the force of will because we you know we're always going to open a force of will every every 16 right that's just guaranteed at this point is that safe to say um but anyways we're, we're guaranteed to get some goodies is is what i'm thinking um all right let's see let's see what we got here all right pack number three like i said it's a free roll uh but the person that gets the force of will that's like a free roll in the whole box isn't that true now not everyone's gonna get one of those you know that wouldn't be fair in life but uh this product man i just haven't seen one like this before and and the and the thing is it's not like collector packs like you immediately know oh my gosh you got stone forge all right so what is this 50 all right all right and Tom's X Boxa? Is that the Feast of Famine? Is this? Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's a Phyrexian Metamorph. So this is the first pack for Arturo that didn't that didn't pay for the next one. So this, you know, gets subsidized by that Mana Crypt. And once again, I'm seeing like a little dent here. Do you see that? What is up with this pack? All right. Uh, it was a forest and a plains. Okay. I mean, I guess it's just how it is sometimes, but that is annoying. That is annoying. All right, so Metamorph, uh, one of the least valuable toppers, even though I think the art is amazing. Look at that. Uh, I think it's sitting at like 11 or 12, so. Definitely one of the whiffs. All right, but still, this is like a $60, $60 VIP, so it only needed $40 subsidization from that Mana Crypt, so there's still more value. This this is like, a, this next VIP is still like partially paid for, so to speak, you know? I'm just using some layman terms. All right. Here we go. And the last pack for Arturo. What do we got for you? What do we got for you? All right, a piece straight. Ooh, a bobble and, a, nope. I thought it was gonna be a bobble and a manamorphose, but I guess that's not always the case. Ash Barons, I think that's gonna be a great little spec. I think it should be worth more than like a dollar or whatever it is right now. Greater good. Lightning Greaves, all right, this is $20, but I think it has room to grow. Every deck plays this, like every EDH deck plays this. Unless your EDH is not playing creatures, but it has to, because it has, it has a commander. All right, and now Mark Poole coming in for rare and exploration. All right, so yeah, you know, last two packs, not the most amazing, but that Crypt definitely paid for everything. So uh, did pretty good, pretty, did pretty good there, Arturo. All right. Let's go ahead and sleeve these bad boys. So this was a two mythic pack. Um, and honestly, it's not too bad. It was not too bad. I think I've seen worse. I've definitely seen better. Uh, but uh, I'd be a happy camper just getting something like this on average, I feel. Exploration coming in at like 40, 60, uh, like 110, 120, 160, 185. Uh, 385, and then what is this, like 60, so 445, and that's just the box hoppers, you know, there's, there's a lot of other stuff, so, sweet, all right, next one, here we go, let's see, it is for Dana, again, coming in with another sponsorship, I believe if you haven't watched the last booster box, you should take a peek at it, um, I think it was pretty average in terms of a box, but I did put all the prices of the, of the stuff at the, at the bottom, in the, in the comments section, and you'll see that, uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty good box. Just not gonna lie, like, in terms of value. Um, I only, of course, looked at the cards that were Buckaroo or, or Greater. Um, mainly, we just did well in those box hoppers, I feel, for Dana in the last box. Um, so let's let's try to do, let's try to do just as well again. Ooh, destroying this one. All right, here we go. This warm token, of course, is worth something as well. It's like a dollar or two. I mean, a dollar or, or uh, a dollar and a quarter. So, yeah, there's just a lot of random things that have value. Of course, these foil commons, if you have a bunch, you can pawn them off. Um, Chromatic Star Foil, that's like a buck. Like, Dark Seal Citadel, Court, uh, nope, not Court Tapper, not Treasure Mage, Valor Stance, Basalt Monolith, that's like three or four bucks. You know, like, there's a lot of value in these things. Sunken Runes, it's like six, seven, or eight, or something like that. Sunforger, it's a few. No, not Goblin Guide. All right, we're just getting getting rid of the, the bad ones. So Goblin Guide's like, what, 12, 13 right now. And what's next? Eric coming in with a Fatal Push. Now, this is definitely one of the worst 
combinations you could possibly get in the VIPs. So I'm super sorry about that, Dana. Uh, that, that, if you only buy one VIP pack in your entire career and that's the one you get, um, super, super condolences because that is definitely one of the worst combinations possible. Um, coming in at like, you know, pushes like, what, like, I don't even remember at this point, 12, 13, 14, 15, somewhere in the teens. So this is like a $30 just from the toppers type of VIP pack. Um, we expect to see better. Like, I don't expect to see another one even remotely close to this EV um, in the rest of these four inners. So let's see. Let's see how we do. All right. Okay, Dana, let's get you some Mythics. Um, we haven't even seen a four Mythic uh, VIP inner yet. So that's kind of crazy to me. It's really kind of crazy to me, actually. Because we've seen a lot of those before, you know? All right. All right, here we go. Uh, keep, keep taking a peeks. Keep taking the peeks. Treasure Mage, Enlarge, The Flame Fiend, Assembler, Dread Return, Rage Reflection, Hammer of Nizan. Love that card. Brainstorm. No, no, no. All right, let's get something good here. Mark Tiden coming for rare? Really? Uh, okay. So another double rare. Man, yeah, I must have gotten lucky a while ago. Thopter Ape, Copy Golem. Okay, then. Uh, Urza's Mind sitting at 30. Brainstorm sitting at 20. We are barely... We barely paid for one VIP pack at this point. So we really need some big hitters. We need, a, we need that force now. If ever there was a time for a force of will, it would be now. All right. Let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. And here we go. Okay, so, so far, no mythics, not even in the foil spot. I'm a, I'm a little concerned at this point. Come on, let's do this. Bloodshot Training, Gelatinous Genesis, The Sphinx, and Vampire Hex Mage, Death Threat Ritual, Clone Shell, Mirror Smith, Esper Zoa, Pierce the Paladin, Merciless Eviction, and here we go. We have a, no, Jeff Simpson. None of the cards he does are valuable. It's that meddling mage, and I, I don't like meddling mage at all. Okay, here we go. Franz Von Winkle, a mythic. All right, we got a little Chrome Mox here. Okay, so this pack, at least we met Eevee. All right, all right. Now, Chrome Mox is one of my favorite arts, I just think. It's so, so nice. It has that rainbow effect. That, like, this is not the type of card that you see anymore. That uh, This is like, you know, this is New Age, Magic the Gathering art, and I love it so much. I love the borders around here. It's just so cool. Just so cool. And Vulcan Baga, the original Chrome Mox, like that was already pretty cool. So like the fact that it even gets close to topping it, man. All right. Now let's see what this last pack brings us. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a situation where it was a one mythic in her case. So I'm pretty, pretty safe to say that there should be another mythic in here. Uh, so let's see. I mean, I can always be proven wrong. We've only opened about, you know, 160 of these. So definitely not a big enough sample size. If, if I had opened 1800 and never seen a one mythic in our case, then yeah, uh, I would feel a little bit more safe in that regard, knowing what the print run is, uh, print sheet rather for the 40. Uh, but alas, I don't know either of those things and have not uh, opened that many. All right, we have a master transmuter. Nice little, there's, you know, these cards, like usually there's about $10 of value in the, in the two foil, so it's not, not bad. All right, John Avon, what? Oh, Academy Runes, okay. Right, 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 John Avon, the land. And the last one, please let it be. Dan Dos Santos with the mythic. All right, what could this be? 365 with a sword and a sword of fire and ice. Okay, so got, got a second mythic there, like I predicted. Um, got, you know, foil, forest and plains, treasure, elemental, servo soldier. Okay, so this is definitely be below average. Definitely below average. I think um, the uh, inner case we opened for our turtles is a little bit better. This one's looking at 100. Chrome Mox is probably like 70, 170. Um, we have a few of these nuggets. So Pasta Urza's mine at 200. Fatal Push, Goblin Guide. Uh, it's like 30. 
brainstorm 50 so 250 like call it even 300 of uh ev on the just the box hopper so yeah we missed a little there but even that considering a miss uh we only you know probably lost like 10 percent, 20 percent value that is pretty good for sealed product you know um let's let's keep opening let's keep let's keep rolling this last one of course for ben uh we have not seen a force yet so is it gonna be ben's turn um we've seen a few heavy hitters uh that mana crypt of course was really nice mana crypt of course is the second most valuable uh foil box topper so not exactly saying that we haven't opened good sweet spicy stuff yet but it would be nice to get a force you know it's been a while since i've seen a force of will it's been a while since uh we've opened one on the channel in the video so super cool That'd be cool beans, you know? Uh, we have seen Sword of Fire and Ice twice already today, which is, you know, crazy. Because that that's just like it pays for the pack. Everything else in the pack is a free roll. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what we get for Ben. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Peace Strider, Ponga Fi, another card that I you know, think has some potential. Fatal Push, of course, everyone knows. Obliette, everyone knows about that one as well. Just, oh, Foil Exploration, that's a ding, ding, ding. Nice little win. Foil Wooded Bastion, sure. Urza's Power Plant, all right, all right. What's that, 30? 30 something? All right. Let's see it, let's see it. Martina Pilsaroiva, we have a Chrome Mox Alert, ding, ding, ding. Nice little Mythic hit. All right, all right, I'll take it. First pack as a mythic, it's a good sign. Uh, all right. Drossy spawn, soldier, copy, tuck, tuck. All right. I go ahead and sleeve this exploration as well. It's worth more than some of the box toppers. Uh, some of the foil board list cards. Sorry, I keep saying box toppers, and I was corrected by someone in the YouTube comments. They are not box toppers. These VIP cards are, you can call them showcase, you can call them foil borderless, is what they are being called on TCG Player. So that's the lingo that I should be using. So if I say box topper, and you're not, not happy to hear that you're in the right, I'm in the wrong. All right. So, that first one definitely, so to speak, paid for itself. Let's see what the next one looks like. All right. Here we go. We got, of course, are common so you know by now hopefully you already have familiarity with these vips it's nine commons eight uncommons two rares or mythics and all of those are foil just foily 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 um oh nagadita all right sarah sphinx awakening zone that's our first foil rare or mythic and savage born hydra of course and an urza's tower all right all right we're collecting tron here okay all right, but let's see what is our potential mythic for <laughs> Oh, another pro mox, two moxin in this uh, in the set. Treasure mirror, mirror elf warrior. All right, not too bad. I mean, that one is again uh, pays for itself. Uh, everything else in the pack is basically a free roll, so I like it. I like what I see. I like what I see. All right. Uh, Checking for damages. What we did have an Urza's Tower that was a little a little dinked up in the live stream, so I just wanted to see if that was an Urza's Tower thing or uh, just that one card was dinked up. And yeah, by the way, that is one feedback that I have been uh, hesitant to give, but it's true. Like I see, we keep seeing like a token or two um, just get a little dinged up. Um, luckily, all the valuable cards are smack in the middle, which is very very good idea by Wizards. It's how you should store and ship cards. You put the most valuable cards right in the middle right here. Uh, just because if things are going to get damaged, um, it's better for them to be the top or the bottom cards. Right? So, just saying, just saying. Alright, here we go. On to another one. Okay. There's this Power Plant, Bloodbriar, Surge Node, the Scavengy. Valor, Oval Chase, Daredevil, Sandstone, Oracle, Weapons, Trainer, Rex Sage, Pentad Prism, Galastus, Kulk. All right, Terasty Nasty, 
and a fuck oh mythic blightsteel colossus i think ben this is the second one we've opened for you a pack foil gorgeous art gorgeous art by chris ron and a fatal push all right so far the most least valuable foil borderless card we've pulled and what is this ron spencer mythic oh my gosh oh my gosh every single pack has had a zero mana mythic mana crypt mox mox oh must be nice to be Ben. So far, this is the best inner case that we've opened. All right. Angel, human soldier, elf warrior. And uh, what was that again? Copy? Okay. Okay. Got that extra blight steel colossus mythic value as well. That is really good. That is really, really good. All right. Throw these guys into sleeves. Ron Spencer for the mana crypt. That is just, what a piece of art. What a piece of art. Definitely has Zendikar vibes, of course. Definitely has Zendikar vibes. All right. Last pack of the day of the video. And the last one for Ben. Can we actually still get a Force of Will? I don't know. This It's it's already been really good. I mean, right? Like, I don't want to jinx it, but Ben is definitely in the money, so to speak, right? All right. Here we go. The last VIP Let's get some goods. Let us get some goods. Here we go. Uh, okay, Crib Swap. Uh, have you ever drafted this and just felt like all the cards are powerful? And then you do like a couple more drafts and then somehow all the cards are not powerful? Like I've definitely had situations like that before. All right. Here we go. The Revoker. A Ravenous Trap. No, no, no. Don't want that. Don't want that. No, not a meddling mage by Jeff Simpson. What's next? Ron Spencer. Oh my gosh, and a doubling season. Ah, oh man. Ah, of course, Ben gets the four mythic inner case. Uh, we know that they exist. They're not too mythical. They're actually relatively more common than you'd imagine. Uh, I guess this is actually a five mythic um, in our case. We did have to pay the meddling mage tax. Uh, to get it, but uh, yeah, I mean that that is what a haul, what a haul. That's like four hundred dollars in value right there. All right, so let's go ahead, put these all in the sleeves, and that's the video, folks. Hope you guys had a good time. I will be opening more VIPs. Drop me an email. Join my Facebook group. Um, I will reach out with some. I don't like the new prices, but uh, you know these are scarce. It's, it's hard to get them. All right, see you guys on the next one.